The following program deals with a controversial subject. The theories expressed are not the only possible interpretation. The viewer is invited to make a judgment based on all available information. What's going on, Midnight Watchers, and welcome to the Midnight Paranormal Society Show with your host, Mike Cardenas. Midnight Paranormal Society Show. I'm your host, Mike Cardenas. I'm here with my co-host, Robert, a.k.a. Gagos, and we have a special guest uh, this evening. We have from the hit TV show, Ghost Hunters, and also um, a new documentary we're going to be talking about here shortly. We have uh, Kendall Welpton here on the show. Thank you, sir, for being on the show this evening. Oh, thank you, guys. I appreciate it, man. It's oh, yeah, cool. man. We've been, we've, I've been waiting for this day, man, and uh, I, mm -hmm. I will say, man, that you are like the, uh, you know, the, 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 the things you go through, man, the, the lengths you go through to, to capture the best looking, just whether, whether it's a photo or video, man, you are the man for that, man. Oh, the MacGyver of cinematography. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Dang. I love it. It's yes. fun, man. I get, I get excited have... about it. Yeah, definitely, man. And so real quick for all those who are watching right now, um, one thing that uh, I'm going to actually have uh, uh, Kendall show you guys here shortly is uh, he has a new documentary coming out uh, May the 5th. Uh, it's called the, the House in Between, correct? Yes, that's right. House in Between. It comes out May 5th. It's going to be everywhere, uh, anywhere, VOD, Video On Demand, uh, iTunes, Amazon, uh, Xbox, all over. So, yeah, you'll be able to see it. Yeah, and, and so what we want to do is um, we want to do a little trivia for you guys. He has some a DVD available uh, to kind of give away. You want to show them real quick? There, you go. There, we go. <clears throat> there it is. And so what we want to do is uh, we want to ask a, a specific question. And if anybody who's in the chats can answer the question right now uh, or throughout the show, the first person to answer, you have a chance of winning a free DVD and that Kendall will, will get in touch with you and get it out to you. Yeah. And, and so real quickly, man, um, can you kind of give us background to our, our Midnight Watchers of who you are, man, uh, you know, where you came from, how you got into the whole scene of the paranormal, uh, if you don't mind sharing that with our viewers, our Midnight Watchers. Yeah. So, uh, Kendall Welton, um, I am the director of photography for the show Ghost Hunters. So my job is to kind of set the look of the show and work with uh, my camera team to kind of establish the show's or anything visual on the show. So I work with uh, my camera team and the producers closely. And uh, and yeah, so I head up the camera department. Um, and yeah, so how did I get into the paranormal? Well, uh, 15 years ago, uh, sorry, farther back than that, I actually had a personal experience when I was, uh, when I was, I think I was 18, I moved out to Colorado and I was moved out to Colorado to snowboard. And okay. Uh, I was looking for a place to live. And the only place I could find was this place, 10,000 feet in the mountains. And oh, it, was wow. a little, it was a little, little town called fair play. And uh, I found a place and uh, my buddy and I moved in and my buddy Ron and I moved in there. And the first night stuff started happening. And then, uh, you know, I'm hearing, I'm hearing noises. Uh, the door opens, you know, I'm having all these experiences the first night and it was an old hospital we found out so it was an old hospital that got converted over to apartments and we ended up renting an apartment in an old hospital so uh oh, wow sounds so, fun so that's what got me into um into kind of <clears throat> perked my interest in the paranormal uh fast forward a few years and and uh, i answered a craigslist ad uh from pilgrim films and television talking about a ghost show gearing up quick and I was like, hey, that sounds cool. I, I like ghost stuff. So applied for the job through Craigslist and uh, sent my resume and, and uh, reel uh, on, on a DVD, uh, sent it in and, and got a meeting actually right away. They, they hired mm -hmm. me. And then like literally three days later, I'm on a plane heading to the first location and <clears> started <throat> filming. And I've been with uh, Ghost Hunters ever since. 15 years ago. Wow, man, that's, that's, that's definitely amazing, bro. And uh, real quick before we <clears throat> proceed, 
uh, so the question that we all came up with myself and uh, yeah. Kendo and Goggles. Um, so for those, if you've seen season two of the new Ghost Hunter show, um, there was an episode uh, where they caught, and I may call it a shadow apparition in, in the hallway. Um, for those who saw that episode, they used a, a, a specific special camera in that hallway scene. If you can let us know in the comments what the name of that camera is. I want the correct name of that camera. If you can let us know what it's called in the comments, and I see that you're the first person who, who guesses that, that camera name, you get that DVD right there. The House in Between. It is an amazing documentary. Uh, again, it releases May 5th, but you have a chance right now to get this amazing DVD. So let us know in the comments what you know, yes. if you know the name of the camera is. And once I see the first person who comments, I'm going to give that information to Kendall. They'll get in contact. He'll get in contact with you and you're going to get that DVD. May the odds so, be ever in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Awesome. And, and, and so, um, you know, you know, now, you know, when you were part of the, o, uh, actually, you know what, bef uh, you were part of the OG team. Uh, yeah. What I want to kind of bring up right now is okay. uh, for those who don't know, uh, back in 2009, uh, there was a uh, a contest that kind of went out for uh, a show that no one knew about. It was something being created. Um, and I was fortunate enough uh, myself that I got contacted. And unfortunately, you know, just things happen and I I, I didn't get to make it out. But there was a, a thing on sci-fi. And if correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I, if I remember correctly, I think the title was like, uh, who wants to be the next generation of ghost hunters or something. And I remember... Uh, you know, when the contest fight, when they, they pick the winners, uh, the show ended up being called Ghost Hunters Academy. Yeah, yeah. So uh, tell us about that, man. Well, how was that for you oh, and you know, how you got involved in that stuff? Yeah, so doing Ghost Hunters, um, Steve and Tango ended up going over and getting their own show, which was awesome. And it was another ghost show to, to work on. So, you know, of course, I'm on board. Uh, did season one. It was awesome. Did real well. Got to hang out with Steve and Tango, um, you know, all kind of on a, on a different kind of level and and uh, and them going into investigations and inviting these, you know, amateur ghost hunters in and kind of trying to weed through to pick the, the next ghost hunter for ghost hunters. And, yeah. you know, it was really neat to see the process. Uh, season two came along and, uh, you know, we got working and uh, yeah, just met a wonderful uh met a wonderful friend who ended up uh being my wife today who is vera martinez then now vera welton uh mm, so nice. that was just the best thing the love of my life the best thing that ever happened to me was that show uh ghost hunters academy so i mean mm -hmm. it's just amazing that uh you know so much positive came out of one show like love that. story yeah. on film yeah, yeah. There and you go, Adam man. Adam That's Bar a blessing Adam, for sure. Adam Barry's still around. He's he's doing his own show with Amy. And, yeah. You know, he got shows off of that season. It's really cool. I mean, that <laughs> that show uh, that show really spawned, like, a lot of people that um, are still doing stuff today, like Rosalind and Brett and, um, it's yeah. just, and Vera. I mean, Vera helped produce <clears throat> this uh, documentary as well. So it's it's just so cool, man, to see, see how – uh, you know, you have, you're, you're in this place and then all of a sudden, you know, you're done with the show and then what everybody's doing outside of it afterwards. And it was really cool. I yeah. think that was like one of the, one of the most effective shows that I've, I've been a part of. Yeah, definitely. And, and real quick to all the viewers who are watching, uh, the reason why we call our, our viewers midnight watchers, man, is because we want to make it more intimate and more personal with our, our viewers, you know, cause you know, I don't want, when people come to our page, to our platform, we want them to feel like they're at home with us. You know what I mean? It, you know, it's a judge free zone. They can speak freely, uh, respectfully. Um, but for all those who are watching right now, um, you know, I'm going to reach a point where if you guys have any questions for Kendo, um, please drop your questions in the comments. And when I get to that part, I would definitely do my best to get your question answered by the man right here. And Kendo, what do ghost hunters call their fans that watch the show? Is there a nickname you guys have? You know, these guys, I don't, I don't, I, I, I think friends, maybe friends or fans. I, you know, there's not like any kind of nickname that I, I know of, but uh, nothing fun um, like that. No, I don't think not so. Yet. I just, I just know it's cool to see everybody in the Twitter when the show's on. 
It's yeah, awesome. definitely. Those guys yeah, are that... those those guys are awesome, man. They're always talking to to you know the you know the fans and people watching the show, and it's just really cool to see see that. Yeah, that that's that's one thing I love about you know the 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 show, you know the the new crew, and you know they make it they make it to a point where they're like, listen, no matter how busy we are, you know they make it a point to stop and just address people who reach out to them. You know what I mean? And I mean, we all have busy lives, and unfortunately, this coronavirus is here. Some see as a, I mean, I, I, it is what it is. You know, we're all going through it globally, uh, but they make the time to connect with these viewers, and you know, it's not like, oh, what do you want? You know, they're like, hey, you know, how can I help you? You know, they treat you like you know, you're the friend, you're the family. It, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to know that if you have a question, they're more than, uh, well, they're more than you know, willing to answer that question for you. So that's definitely cool, man. Yeah, they try their best to help everyone. They they do. They're really some of the most down to earth, friendly, loving. I I love them all. I mean, they're all my friends. We still yeah. talk. I mean, we're down right now in quarantine, you know, but we talk every day. Yeah. Some of us, you know, it's just it's awesome. I love them. Definitely, man. And so let me ask you a question, bro. Um, you know, we've seen the work you do, man. And you know, it'll be so cool one day, man. And like I mentioned the other day, if you were able to jump in front of the camera and do some work, man, some investigating, that'd be so amazing. But, oh, dang. you know, what is, you know, what is the, the, the craziest thing or the, you know, the links you went to capture just like the best photo or video you've ever caught in before? What was like the most extreme thing you've done? Um, so for me, there's like two sides. There's the paranormal where we're in investigating and that's like a challenge because you're walking around in the dark and you're like, Try not to fall in holes and you know, yeah, fall downstairs and stuff. Um, but then there's the other challenge where you do anything for the shot, and that yeah. is like those B roll shots that you see. And oh, literally, me and my crew, we do anything in the safe zone for the shot. So if there's a yeah. mountain and there's a shot that's to be had, either yeah. me or one of my guys are gonna hike to the top of that, even if it takes an hour, we'll do that. Yeah just to get that driving shot through the mountains and you know, vacation. You know, so, so, and, and we all love it. That's the thing. I, oh, you know, dude, it's... We've been working together forever. I mean, like Kyle and Eric, part of my camera team, those guys, like we just, we know each other's like movements. We're all like dancing, you know, and it's like coordinated yeah. perfectly. Cor yeah. We get in the dark together and it's like, I look over at Kyle and like, I mean, it's almost like fighter pilots, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like boom, boom, boom. And we, you know, we shoot in circles. And so that's a challenge too. Um, you know, like I've been with some guys that are, that are new and that have, you know, not done a lot of in the dark uh, filming and we end up bumping into each other or whatever. There's a little, you know, there's yeah. a definite dance to it. So that's the challenge. Definitely. Uh, paranormal wise. Uh, let's see this season. My hands down favorites, favorite evidence was being a, being in, in uh, the, the boarding house in, um, in Arizona. Um, I mean, that was amazing with the, the light anomalies um, with, with uh uh brian and and brandon and in there uh i yeah. mean i i felt so bad because you know for us we're not really supposed to cross the line and get excited we you know we have to put on the game face and yeah and i i i, I mean i it just went out the door right there i was so excited i think i was like oh like i was <laughs> you know with them and just so excited because you know for for me I've been doing this for a while and you know you work very hard to try you know try to get stuff and when you're seeing it in real time like that that yeah. is like that is just that's why you go out and do this i mean i'm right there with you guys like i do this for for the paranormal and i do it for the fun of filming it and like, yeah we're, we're on the you know the the, the crew is on the same quest you know and and just to see that that evidence in real time that's like that's that was so cool to be a part of that was that emc man. cd camera man that thing is that thing is on point it's cool nice man that's that's definitely a blessing bro i mean you have an opportunity that man, not many people will ever experience in their lifetime so you know you get to see things and, and go places that you know even us as investigators may never get to go see you know so that's that's just definitely a, a, an opportunity of a lifetime man so we you know we man, thank you for yeah, don't say that, man. Don't put that block out there. You can no, do no, it. No, you're, you're right. You're right. You we, guys, we can anybody can do this. Stay I positive. Tell you guys, I want to tell you guys on this. Anybody can do this. 
You That's just my gotta plan put, one day. You got it. You got to stick to your dream. You got to do it. Yeah. You got yeah, to stay definitely. there. You're, no, you're right. Yeah. I, and, and that's one thing I always say to people is, you know, you got to speak these things into existence. You know, yeah. it, it, it's not it's not impossible to, to, to accomplish it. Uh, but no, man, we, we thank you, man, for that that dedication, man, and hard work that the things you go through. Like there's even a photo I believe you shared where you're I think you're like in the water, man, and you're taking this <laughs> up. Dude, that was yeah. insane, man. I was like. That was, so tell us about that shot, man, if you can. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so I do other shows as well. Um, I've done, um, I've done uh, Wicked Tuna. That was like a big one after Ghost yeah. Hunters. Yeah, oh, I see I that felt, show. I went over to Wicked Tuna. I was director of photography over there. Um, nice. I've done done some Travel Channel shows. This one uh, called Trip Flip, which was really cool. I got to do a ton of adventure stuff and travel around the world. But um, that that one pr in particular shot in the water that was yeah. um, that was Wicked Tuna. Um, I wanted to do a B-roll shot um, of under the water, like so okay. half in, half out yeah. of a lighthouse. So like, I don't, oh, I don't nice. know. I just, you know, I, I see things in my head and then I'm like, ah, is this even possible? You know? And, and so I, you know, I, I, me and, me and the, uh, me and the AC went out there, assistant camera guy, and he's the one who took the photo. Actually, he was right behind me, and uh, yeah. yeah, we're we're in the water, and the, you know, it was like you setting up the shot, and and you try to get a get some video, some time lapse. <laughs> I, I think I did a time lapse with that, so that's what that was. So you set it up, and then you leave it. And, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's and amazing. Technology is getting better and better and better. It is. Oh my gosh, and that's the that's drones. Oh, drones and, and more beyond drones yeah, too yeah that's yeah drones my thing i love it yeah i uh the drone i could talk about that i um i let's see oh man six years seven six six or seven years ago um i've been i i got into jib hopping i don't know if you know what a jib is but it's like a big camera crane arm and okay. I, oh, yeah, I was I know big on i was i i own jibs i actually built a jib um I'm a very big DIY uh, do-it-yourself guy, yeah. and you know it's expensive to get into the you know the camera world. So I oh man, to learn definitely. It. I, I wanted learn. to learn this stuff. How do you learn it? You build it for cheap, and that's how I got mm -hmm. my hands on the first jib. And then the jib I got, I upgraded that to the bigger one, and and then I yeah. got the jib. I got the jib on Ghost Hunters, and we I think we were the first ghost show with the jib, you know. And then and then nice. uh, and then you know all of a sudden. I start seeing video uh, photos of this thing holding a camera with four propellers. And I was like, I want to do that. And, yeah. and, and so I started researching it and my, uh, my buddy um, Kyle Haggerty was, had a friend that started, bought a, uh, bought a phantom um, drone when it first came out and he told yeah. me about that. I bought this little blade. First thing. generation. Yeah. The first generation. I had this little like, blade drone that i flew and it was i crashed it like a oh, yeah. times. i think <laughs> i think it broke after a week and it was just like trial and error but then i yeah. bought i bought the phantom and the phantom was like next level the phantom is a dji product and i bought that yeah and then uh we put it we you know we're like how do we mount a gopro to this and it kind of came with this little mount that like a hard mount and you stick the gopro yeah. in there and it, it was shaky and maybe you get a shot for like i don't know like a couple seconds, you know, but then <laughs> I was like, I'm going to figure this out. And MacGyvered so, it. MacGyvered it. I, I'll send you guys photos. I'll, maybe I'll post it to yeah. my Facebook. I, I figured I, I found a guy, an RC guy in like New York and he okay. was making these little gimbals and like the gimbals would hold a GoPro and he was putting them on these planes, like these, uh, you know, yeah. like fixed wings. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to mount that on the, the phantom so i think on our weekend off in providence rhode island where they used to put us up for ghost hunters i literally got macgyver and i got my ipad and i got the soldering iron and i took the phantom apart and i yeah. soldered and and mounted a, a gimbal with the gopro we flew it the next week on ghost hunters and i believe yeah. i, I don't want to like claim hard but we might have been the first show that ever had a um a quadcopter drone with a camera gimbal and camera on it. Wow. Well, job of knowledge. I mean, we did it so <laughs> long ago. I'll never forget the day. Cause Mike Peebles, he was our audio suit then. Uh, and, and a, a few other guys, we were all like, let's try this out. And we've we literally like 
up in the air it just went boom and then all of a sudden we sent it out in the the that we back then we didn't have fpv which is you know the yeah, yeah. site mm -hmm. um so i would fly it just visual and then uh and then we brought it back and brought it and quickly ran in and checked it on the computer and we're like oh my gosh we got <laughs> five seconds of video yeah that's you know, it, crazy, it, 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 yeah so so yeah that's kind of how the drone evolved on the show and then fast forward to now when we got like we got the big Inspire 2 drone that is like, you know, f what is it? Five mega drone. K. Yeah. And then I got the little one. I got this little, um, uh, what is it? The Mavic Pro that, yeah. that we use. I mean, we got a lot, man. That's what's the coolest about uh, Ghost Hunters. The reboot is they bought me all of the toys. I feel like oh, a spoiled man, kid at Christmas. Dude. They That's bought so me cool, all, amazing, bro. They got me all the toys, man. I yes. put the list together. They got it for me. Well, I mean, honest, you, I mean you, you're a pull prank, honestly, man. You're the one who's like, Gain those amazing, just spectacular shots, bro. So I mean, that's 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 awesome, man. Thank you, thanks, man. So, um, real quick, man, uh, we have a, a funny question from a, a familiar face you're about to see right now. I'm, I'm gonna put it up on the on the uh -oh. screen. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> oh man, my Mustafa, boy. what's up, buddy? Oh, I Who was you your favorite I investigator you in the team? Hey, man, and why I did you? Pick I don't. I don't choose favorites. I, I I don't do that, man. I have kids. I know that. I know better. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I that, that, like the drone is my favorite. I, I, I see a lot of the, I see a lot of the, the the cast from Ghost Hunters in here. I, I thank you guys for for checking this out. This is yeah, cool, man. man. Shout out, man, I, to the. Uh, I, the I, uh, I it's funny because like you know I'm always behind. I'm in where they're at. Like I come exactly. Now stuff. you're 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 the I was like, oh, this now. is this is this is weird. I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now all, all eyes are on you now, man. <laughs> I know. You're like I weird. choose a drone. <laughs> <laughs> now so uh you know we'll, we'll get into the, the the viewers questions here in a moment, but uh yeah yeah man if if you can man let's just talk about this uh, documentary bro that yeah. you, you yeah. created yeah documentary Tom. And, and real quick, we, I'm not going to give any way any uh you know anything, not even crumbs, but uh you know if you don't mind me saying, I got to see it. Yeah. yeah and oh, uh, no. dude, uh, yeah. that that uh that documentary when I saw it, man, you know, all I can say is when it comes out, and if you're lucky enough tonight to to win a, a copy, when you watch this, man, if you can, if let's say you weren't, you're gonna watch it on the, on the laptop or surround sound, just put it on, man. It'll blow you away. I love I, this documentary is really amazing. You got to check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, man, we're, you know, Steve Gonzalez and I, we've been, um, we've been friends for, since I started on Ghost Hunters 15 years ago. And yeah, we've always, we've always, you know, we, we actually did a project a long time ago, a little like how to video of ghost hunting. And so we, we've been kind of buddies and working together and kind of like milling and I, you know, I throw them bouncing ideas off each other. And, uh, and, and, and then, you know, Ghost Hunters ended up um, going down for a few years and, you know, I didn't get yeah. to work with Steve anymore. And uh, and yeah, so I did. I went off and did Tuna and and then um, Battlefish, the show Battlefish. And uh, OK. And then um, and, you know, started really dipping into like getting into documentary uh, film, you know, documentary uh, TV, documentary um, style of filmmaking. And it really really inspired me I, I i started a company that um is called robot ninja media and oh, yeah. you know i was i i my wife and i started looking for projects and just around that time steve gave me a call and told me about this house in mississippi man and yeah. it, you know at first i'm like okay it's a house you know like house cases are tough man because yeah here you, you know as an investigator it's like you don't know what you're getting into, you know, and exactly. it's, 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 it can be, you know, tricky. So Steve kind of, you know, he's like, Hey, he gave me all the information. And, uh, and, and right before we hang up, he's like, and you know, I did have an experience there. And I was like, I was like, what? Like Steve barely ever has experiences. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, you know, okay, well what happened? And he's like, dude, when I went in there, um, you know, I won't say what it was, but he had it happen consistently, like multiple times. I think it was like 10 times when he was asking. So he left the house, cleared his head, went back yeah. in, tried to have it happen again. 
and it did. So the house was responding to Steve and that's where I was like, okay, let's, um, let's look at this. And then, um, Brad and John and Alice, we all got on the phone and, and, uh, we had, we had a little meeting and they told me about their stories and sent some, um, Steve sent me all, all the, or actually Brad sent me all the evidence and went through it and kind of looked it all over. And I was like, man, this is, this is a unique situation here. So, yeah. you know, that for you guys that don't know the, the, the house has been studied, um, by uh john um and then brad later on for 10 years um they've been they've been they've been why they have that house wired up with cameras they got their experiments they got trigger objects they got audio they got i mean they went they went crazy with it it, it was really cool to see and um what was really neat is that you know um they 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 had a controlled study basically because what happened is alice the homeowner um had a profound experience at her house yeah she and, and the, the interesting thing about this is that the house is it's a newer house it was built in like the 90s and um alice said the first and she alice built the house it's her dream house so um she she started having activity happen the day she moved in and fast forward a couple a few years she has this profound experience where she just cannot explain it and she's scratching her head. She basically, she had John over, I think she had met John and, and uh, she had him over and she basically handed the keys over to the, to John and then later Brad and they just, oh, wow. to, they, they, they set up shop and, and they've been in there for, for years uh, studying the house. So um, that's, that's kind of the, 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 the story with the house and how we got all, all involved. But, um, but yeah, the documentary making this is, uh, been quite an awesome journey. I mean, we, um, we kind of took a different approach with things with, um, with, with the process. We, uh, we really wanted to document the whole experience. So, you know, okay. what, what would it be like if, if you were to come to this house and, and do an investigation, we wanted yeah. to give give you know our audience that that pleasure of of being along for the the investigation with us and i'm not yeah. talking about an investigation i'm talking about like a detective story because that's what we yeah. we we were i mean we were detectives following leads every which way and and we just documented it all and and uh and you know the the film just kind of fell into place dude that's that's so amazing bro yeah and and like i said when i watched this without giving away anything you know, when I, I mean, the whole time, bro, it, there was never a dull moment. You know, there was never a moment where I was like, you know, I'll be back and go use the restroom or let me go do something else. Like I was, my eyes were just glued to the screen and it was just, you know, you're waiting for the next thing to happen. And it was That's just, awesome. it was really amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We, um, you know, we, we were really, really like working with Steve. It was awesome because like, you know, I would, I, for me, like the, you know, the, I would be strong in one spot and in weak in another, and he would fill that weak spot for me. And, I, you know, it was just a really cool uh, working relationship on, on how, how the film got, you know, developed and, and, you know, we go through storyline, like we'd be like, okay, let's chase this lead down and see where this goes. And there, there was just so much to, to, to show that we we unfortunately couldn't even show everything it was like yeah we had to pick the best stuff and steve was like i mean we always joke about it there's this thing called the steve filter and it's <laughs> it's real you know it's 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 got to pass these standards and that's why yeah. i think it's it's so good with the evidence and the credibility and everything because i mean we did we took we really i mean we thought about the investigator man when we were making this i mean i had vera by my side you know we're we're late nights i mean we worked so hard on this we i mean we put so much time into this and and you know she's an investigator i'm like an investigator i'm a you know super into goats so we were making this thing for us man like what yeah we, definitely what we want to see you know and 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 it's really neat how how it all turned out that, that's amazing man and and so uh out of all the places you've been to, man, whether it's with Ghost Hunters, whether it's with the OG uh, crew, um, or even on your own, what what are some of the locations you've been to, man, that just blew you away uh, as far as just the, the sheer beauty of the location oh, and the activity? Yeah, yeah so um, 
okay, so like I kind of have this top five list, and okay. it kind of it kind of mm-hmm. flux it fluctuates. I been I started <laughs> depending ghost, on the experience. Yeah, I I, I started Ghost Hunter season two point five, so like they used to do like okay. two yeah. two point five, and um, I was lucky enough to be a part of the um, the lighthouse episode, and I, oh I, man, I, I think that's my. F- favorite episode the, the first time yeah, I did the, OG the very crew. first time with the og crew and that's because i had an experience there and it was off camera and it was like okay but it was during investigation was really neat and um i i heard my name called out when i was uh up up in the the lighthouse and then yeah a lot of the crew it was cool the, a lot of the crew um had experiences there i think our ac saw like a light anomaly across the sky across the uh, yeah across the lighthouse and uh our one of our producers jay bloomkey he had an experience there so it was like every i think everybody like had an experience leaving the lighthouse and it was one of those things where it was like nobody expected it the lighthouse got put on the map last second when another case canceled i think we're oh, wow. we we're, were in saint augustine we were supposed to do yeah uh what is it ripley's believe it or not and like oh, okay. there, was some, there was some issues with the contract or whatever it was the location release they so then we were out there ready to do one case and they're like they canceled it and then we just got on the lighthouse we're like okay well let's check yeah. it out and oh my gosh it was like it was so pure and just like active and everybody was amped and you know the crew and the cast and it was just really neat that that one was that one's a good memory um saint augustine's beautiful that was a good uh <clears throat> beautiful looking one um uh waverly hills the first time oh man waverly hills live waverly is anything with waverly hills man like waverly so you hills. you were there when um uh when uh what was it uh uh grand and uh jay when they caught that that thing running out on the thermal camera across the uh i forgot what floor it was when they i don't know i'm not what time they went but there was a time when they were investigating and on the thermal camera this thing kind of ran across the uh the hallway and the top part looked purple i think and it was yeah. clear that that, yeah, that was think, amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. Um, yeah, I mean the the original cast with uh, Brian Hardwaugh, uh, let's see, Tango, Lisa, um, Jay Grant, uh, well, Steve, obviously. Um, yeah, it was it was cool, man. That that one was a good one. That was like the first we were doing all home cases before that, and then all of a sudden we get thrown a uh, you know a tuberculosis hospital that like i yeah. think six thousand what is it six thousand six thousand three hundred people died at and it was just huge so it was wow. insane that one that one was the first one i was kind of scared at like we we uh we tried to make ourselves go down the hall by ourselves in the dark and i was young then like i you know <laughs> i'm desensitized now i can i can go yeah. anywhere in the dark i love it like put me alone in the dark for days i'll stay there like it's fun i love the challenge of scaring myself but um <laughs> but, but uh but the top the top uh one now is probably the last episode this last week nice it's i mean everything came together for that it was like just beautiful great evidence you know it was like a journey there <laughs> never been done yeah. never been done like uh you know it was and everybody was firing on all cylinders for for that the film yeah at Ed, editing the i mean i don't think the the post uh the post-production team gets enough props, man. They, they like change the whole format up. I mean, completely. Yeah. they change the format up and it is like a doc style. It is like on point. You feel like you're there. I don't know. It's, it's rad. Like, I think, I think we got, uh, we got it figured out and, and, and it's, it, that case was, was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. And, and quick shout out real quick, man, because, uh, Vera's actually in the, in the chats right now, man. And oh, on, the, on the video, Yes. Yeah, so What's quick up, shout out to Vera. Uh, uh, love and respect and prayers for you, Vera. Thank you for uh, watching your amazing husband right here, man. He's on camera. <laughs> uh, bye bye. Hey, I want to thank everybody for um, thinking of us and praying for us. I, I really, really appreciate y'all. I really do. Uh, we feel you. And I just want to say that, like, with with my heart, I really do. Thank you. It's It's helping us through a... A tough time right now sorry <laughs> yeah no no you're good man definitely yeah, man yeah, all, all the yeah. prayers are definitely welcome man and thank you you know love and love and light bro that's yeah. that's all we can do man at this at this time man yeah yeah and uh let, let me uh get some questions answered man from the viewers i'm seeing here um let me see okay so from and i'm gonna highlight this is from janice 
Let me get this highlighted. It was the best footage captured so far where uh, the, um, okay, so yeah, the EMCCD camera gets the camera of the year award. Uh, that, <laughs> that capturing uh, in um, Arizona and then the, um, the uh, asylum, sorry, the tuberculosis, Fort Stanton evidence. That's like some of the best evidence. The EMCCD camera, I feel, is like the new thermal camera. Like I saw, I remember yeah. when the, I remember when they brought the thermal camera to set for the first time, and we were all yeah. amped about it, and we went out in the field and tried it, and we're like, "Whoa, this is gonna be crazy!" The MCCD camera is like that's that's the new hot piece, man. It's cool. Yeah, definitely, man. That's that's amazing camera. When I first saw it, when uh, you know, Brandon was talking about it, at first I was kind of confused, but then once they started, you know, bringing out more, and we started seeing the things that were being captured, I was like, "Dude, that's that's hands down mm -hmm. a a." a Excuse my language, but a badass piece of equipment. Yeah, yeah. Expensive. So, I mean, I think that thing's like 12000 bucks or something. Ooh. <laughs> Can yeah. I try to take it in a suitcase without no one watching? <laughs> um, so uh, we have another question from uh, Dory yeah. Wheeler. Uh, let's see here. Let me show it right here. I'm making Ghost Hunters people locations. Cool. Uh, what's your favorite part of making Ghost Hunters? Um... You know, I I really enjoy going in for the first time and meeting the homeowners or the liaison for the location. Uh, I'm part of like the ground crew team, the first people in. I'm usually the first person to shake hands with the client. Um, oh, nice. And, and meeting them and hearing their story firsthand because we do kind of like a pre like kind of walk around and they show yeah. production. So we get our bearings straight. I actually scout for... Um, for obstacles for the camera guys make sure there's no dangers and all that fun stuff so we do this like okay. pre-tour and then um i'd say like meeting meeting the client meeting the people and then hearing the hearing their stories and 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 seeing them kind of uh seeing them show me the spots where the the activity was and and usually you know they're pretty at that point they're so excited that we're there because of yeah. um, because of you know they've been either tormented or or taunted by something that's just been been with them for a while so definitely here's another question from ryan oh okay um so my favorite piece of equipment to work with besides a camera um for me it's going to be different because i don't really uh investigate with uh the the you know, the ghost cameras, but they're very similar to what we use. I mean, they use IR yeah. cameras and stuff. So I'd have to say um, my favorite camera, oh, sorry, my favorite piece of equipment would be the drone. Um, okay. That is, that is like, I bring Saw that coming. Yeah. I, I own <laughs> the two, two drones. I love them. They're part of my, you know, extended, extended body here. So like, uh, you know, um, and then uh, what is, let's see, let me see if I can give you a kind of a, you know what the world cam the world cam check that one out it's a it's a uh cheap it's not cheap uh, it's like 400 bucks cheap in, yeah. in production standards but it's uh compared to a drone that's like six thousand dollars or so Oof. um the world cam you can set up a line and you can and and it's basically a wire cam and we used it a ton on this season um in last season of ghost hunters and that was really neat so you attach a little gopro on there or um a smaller camera and you can zip it through hallways a zip line for a camera yeah it's a zip line where you can't fly the drone we take the world cam so like in big theaters and places where you know like you, you don't want to fly a drone you put up the world cam and it's basically like a drone inside oh shoot kyle haggerty's on Oh, yeah, he's he's there, man. He's, uh... Okay, check this out. Kyle Haggerty is the man. That guy, Kyle, him, yeah, shout out to guys, shout out to Kyle, you guys, man. Guys, Kyle is the man. He, him, and I have been working together for so many years. Uh, I don't know, Kyle, how long? Like seven, eight, nine, something crazy. Um, Kyle's my right hand man. He is B camera. Um, he is he is like the reason you guys are seeing beautiful images. I mean, Dude, it's just amazing. like my this camera crew is is the best in the biz, hands down. That's awesome, and man. Kyle, Kyle, you know, Kyle, we work together on Wicked Tuna. We work together on Ghost Bros. We work together, like all of them. So yeah, we travel around as a pack. We're like uh, we call ourselves the Boo Crew. So yeah, we we cruise around <laughs> and, and uh, you know, 
that's fun, man. A lot of good times. Yeah, that, with these that, guys. that's awesome, bro. Yeah. See, and and that's the best part, man. Like I was telling you, Mustafa and and the rest of the team. You know, the the best part is knowing that you have a chemistry, man. You know, when you, when you're around these individuals, it, it's it's like second nature, man. You're with family. You know, it's not like man, I gotta work with this guy today. It's like, man, you're not going to work. You're going to fun, man. You're you're just you're blessed, bro. That's amazing. Yeah, these guys. I mean, the the you know the the team, the ghost hunting team, the 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 crew. Uh, we are a family. We're out there. We're in the trenches together. I mean, I mean, it's it's tough to get get these shots. I mean, you guys saw in Alaska. I mean, we're tr- we're like trekking around and you know f- snow and getting frozen. And man, I. I that was a tough, I mean, it, with getting those shots comes, you know, exhaustion and it's, uh, it's tough, but I mean, we all, we all get through it. We all get through it together and, and we, we, uh, we love it. That's what's cool is every single person working on the team loves it. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's amazing, bro. And here's another question, man. And I know you mentioned it, you already said it earlier, but, uh, let me get that question answered one more time, uh, from Florentina. Uh, okay. So, how long have I been working on ghost, uh, ghost hunters? Um, so season 2.5, I was on, I think it was, let's see, it's been about 15 years that, um, I've been on and off ghost hunters. I, I left, uh, gosh, the, it all, I, the seasons kind of are tough for me to remember, but, um, I think it was season seven. I left for, to have my little girl and then, uh, I came back and then, uh, and then yeah, season 11, we ended, and then now I'm back. So between like, um, if you put all the years together, when I started, it'd be about 15. That's amazing, man. That's yeah. a, that's, 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 that's awesome, man. And real quick from your, uh, from your buddy right here, Mr. Kyle. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Wouldn't want to work with anyone. Oh, I appreciate it, man. You too. Heartfelt Feel moment. The same. Feel the same, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Good so that, that's, that's that's really amazing, man. You know, you have a good crew, man. You know, you get to work with some amazing individuals, and you have your, you know, you say your camera crew who you get to have around, and y'all are just so fluid together, man. That's yeah. uh, yeah. It's- so so you know, behind the camera, man. You know, of course, we don't get to see you or the, the, the team of camera people who get to be around the crew. You know, has there been a moment where you know any of you guys, while you know whether it's game B roll. You know, while you're filming the actual, mm-hmm. you know, scenes of the episodes, has yeah. anyone ever been hurt in, in, the, in the process before? Hurt? Yeah, like, you know, you had a yeah. spill or something yeah. happened. You're like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, happen. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I had an AC fall on a slippery deck on a, oh. on a battleship. He was, it was icy. He was coming down yeah. the, the, the ramp and he just, boom, fell on his back. He was wow. out there. Uh, I mean, we go down. I mean, camera guys go down all the time. I mean, we're, you know, we're backpedaling. We walk backwards in the dark. So we're, and we're blinded by the LCD screen, you know? So Dude, it's, yeah. it's like, it's like this balance and you kind of, you know, uh, goggles actually, I was going to ask <laughs> you about, I was going to ask you about your night vision, uh, your night vision setup oh, yeah. because, because it is tough to walk around in the dark with, uh, with your gear. Yeah. So yeah, we take spills all the time. Yeah, there it is. Those, those are cool, man. Yeah, I so learned to just look. Well, I can touch my head. I learned to walk, look down most of the time. Like, take a step, look down, and then look up to make sure I'm not tripping on anything, especially in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Branches and everything. But yeah, I mean, I almost uh, fell in a rusty pit on a battleship. Uh, let's see. Um, someone, uh, our first season when I first started there, our DP, um, he fell through the floor, and it was funny because he fell through. I mean, it wasn't funny, but it was kind of comical. He um he <laughs> he he felt he was up in the attic and he and like we're in this house and he's like walking around in the attic and he stepped between the two boards. You know, you're not supposed to. Oh man! He stepped yeah. between the two boards and both of his feet went straight through the ceiling and his feet were like dang, <laughs> his feet were like let's see his feet were like they were dangling, dangling like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, yeah, that's was, that's crazy. We, all of a sudden, we heard this crash. We're gonna look up and there's uh there's Dave Hobbs. He's like you know, trying to get out of the hole. It was funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, we go down all the time, man. It's, it's, you know, it's part of the job. I, I actually, um, I credit, uh, I used to try to be a stunt man. That's kind of how I got into filming. <laughs> I was trying to go to be a stunt guy. So, uh, I kind of, I kind of know how to fall. So that's helped me out. A nice. Bit. Yeah. Control. We have, crash. We, have another, we have another question here from one of the viewers. Uh, let's see, here it is. 
what are the do's and don'ts when it comes to interacting with the paranormal? Oh, that's a that's actually a really good question. Um, we we have like a protocol on set um, for for when we're following around as as camera uh, relationship with um, the ghost hunters. So we what. So when we're when we're walking around in the dark, sometimes we bang. I saw Kyle wrote this because it's a good point. Um, we bang our shins into stuff, and you know we'll make noises. Yeah, uh, our belt will catch something. We have to call it out. We have to call it out because if they think it's a a ghost or paranormal, yeah, then then that's no good. That does not work for for anything. So so yeah, yeah we have this. You know, we have this. We have this code where where we you know we call stuff out. Um, uh, yeah, you can't be making noise. You can't have like a, a, loud, a loud camera guy. You can't have a loud sound guy. You can't have a loud producer. It's, you know, you just, you, we, we isolate a lot of these runs. It's just the camera guy in there. It's just, that's it. Yeah. So we keep it, we keep a minimum crew and that's it. You know, the rest stay outside. The camera guy, camera girl goes in and, uh, and that's, that's it. That's all we, um, that's, and then we follow the team. So, so yeah, no noise. Um, if you, if you make a noise, you got to call it out. If, uh, if you see something, if you see something, you tell them. And um, that's where, that's where it's been fun for me. I, I've been kind of, I've been doing, doing this for a while. So like you get to a point where the camera operating becomes kind of second nature where you can kind of step your brain outside of it. And you can yeah. start. You could start to investigate a little bit, and that's where I start. <laughs> I started. I started doing that the last few years here, and and that's been nice. a lot of fun for me. So just in my that's mind, I'm not. I'm not in the investigation, calling yeah, yeah, stuff out. But like, I'm like, you know, I'm like, I wonder if that's, you know, the, the structure. I wonder if there's a upflow of air. I wonder if this. I wonder if you know what I mean. Like, like yeah, you, you put in your and, sense. Yeah, yeah, you know. And and so you know. Going out to the investigations, man. I know you're behind the, the camera, man. And so, you know, guys, you guys are kind of behind the scenes. But even though you're not the one investigating them, I mean, you're still there in the location where all the activity is happening. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what are some things, you know, that you do to protect yourself, you know, for things not coming home with you to, you know, affect oh, you yeah. or the family? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, yeah, we spend a lot of time in these locations, especially the documentary. Uh, we spent weeks at the house and i even slept overnight once by myself and uh you know we you know steve and i would be up till 6 a.m in the morning all night long yeah. working at the house like um so yeah you know these locations on ghost hunters there's yeah I, my my take on some stuff has changed over the years like i i used to really just kind of, you know, I, I'd have to like turn a blind eye to it to work in some of these places. I close myself off a lot. Yeah. Of, you know, it's, it's tough for us cause we're, we're working and we can't sacrifice the work for the, the ghost stuff. So if we start, you know, buying into like a noise that's right over there, if we're like, you know, if we start freaking ourselves out over it, we can't do our job. So we ignore a lot of that stuff. We like, we push it to the side or we just are, you know, there's some stuff you can't ignore though. And yeah. And that's where, that's where you're like, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me to protect myself, uh, you know, I, I, I got a lot of my guys on here. They don't know I do this, but I, I do a little prayer, uh, you know, nice. for, for everybody on the crew and, you know, the team and, and, and Definitely. just, you know, I really like in, you know, just, I really kind of, some of these places i just you know say hey i i'm just working here you know yeah. i don't i don't i don't mean any disrespect uh you know i just try to try to really um just kind of come in you know have a relationship with it that's that's you know yeah. fr friendly i guess i treat it as a person i guess i mean of course you know, yeah it's yeah. like definitely these some of these that, locations that, that, that's are amazing. what's that no no i'm, I'm just saying adding to what you're yeah. saying that that's amazing that you do that man that's that's awesome bro yeah and, you know, and, and to kind of add with you what you're saying about the prayer, you know, a lot, you know, for me, I never try to push onto anybody else, you know, my beliefs and, you know, what I do to yeah. protect myself or yeah. to be safe in an investigation. But, you know, like you, like yourself, you know, I, you know, my team and I, you know, we'll pray before and after. And of course we have some members, you know, like I mm -hmm. uh, was here, you know, who isn't religious like that. So what we do is, you know, we always make sure like, Hey, who wants to be part of the prayer circle or, you know, part of the cleansing, whatever, you know, you can do it, but if you don't want to, you do your own thing. But, you know, I'm, I'm a big believer in prayer, man. And, uh, you know, I feel that 
when you go to these locations, you got to have the utmost respect because like you said, yeah, yeah. when you're communicating with these things, <clears throat> you never know what you're going to encounter. I mean, you can go in there and, you know, give me something just nothing bad, you know, but you never know. You have that moment where you go in and something crazy happens. And even though, you know, things are going crazy, you got to keep your cool, man. And you yeah. still keep that respect. So yeah. I, mm -hmm. I applaud you for that, man. That's, Thanks. that's amazing. There's some, there's some I seen some, you know, other shows, which I won't mention those names, mm -hmm. uh, where they kind of go in all reckless and do that they want, but that's, that's their, they, they can do mm -hmm. what they want. Yeah. But, you know, I just, I'm like, dude, how, how do you not take something home with you, man? That that's, that's so crazy. Uh, but I'm glad you do the prayer and, you know, for yourself and for the team and for the family, yeah. man. It's amazing. Yeah. And so we have another question here that I saw right now. Okay. Here it is from uh, James Maynard. Uh, have you ever had an attachment? Do you protect yourself before an investigation? Yeah, that kind of goes with um, what we just kind of answered. But, yeah. um, you know, this is a very personal question. You know, it's a good one. Uh, attachment. Um, I didn't give anything into it for a long, long time. And I just, you know, I would shake things off. Things would happen when I, I'm home and I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know. But um, But just recently over the last few years. Um, yeah. Like, uh, just, I did this documentary at the, uh, the, you know, in, in Mississippi and, and right after filming, uh, the first time we were there, uh, you know, I, we get home and my daughter's, you know, my daughter's noticing things that, that, uh, just don't, don't make sense. Yeah. She was talking to stuff that wasn't there. And I just, you know, I, wow. I question that, you know, so, it, it, you know, it's, I don't know if that's an attachment or, or, or <clears throat> what, but, you know, uh, I did, you know, we, we dealt with that, uh, through, yeah. through a prayer and, and, you know, nothing, we haven't seen anything since, but, you know, I, I, I'm starting to think that there's more to this attachment thing and, um, yeah. definitely, definitely should be considered. So. Yeah, no, definitely. You gotta be very careful, man, because, you know, like myself, um, you know, I, I've had something follow me home at, from one investigation that I know of, and I've also been affected by something from an investigation. And I mentioned this before in one of my other shows, it got so bad, man, that I ended up losing my job. I, I couldn't drive like my, from the job to my house was 10 minutes. It took me three hours to get home. My anxiety was so bad, man, mm -hmm. that I kept vomiting while I was driving. It was, I don't want to get to that. It was yeah, I ended up 48 pounds. It was, it was a mess, wow. but because and, and that's because I was careful in the investigation, but you just yeah. never know how you're going to be infected. So, you know, people don't realize how serious this thing, this thing is, whether it's on TV or it's not, it's, it's a real thing. Yeah. Well, that's what, I mean, if you, it's one thing when it's like, if it's with me, uh, you know, I I'll deal with it. Uh, you know, I'll yeah. take care of that. Um, but, but when, when things start messing with my family, I don't like that, you know, so definitely you got it. You gotta, you gotta be careful. For sure. And we have a, another question from Adam uh, here. It says, do you have any phobias when you are ghost hunting? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have any phobias, but uh, I am, I am really scared of bats. I'm really scared of bats. It's uh, they're in every location. That's like a big, crazy abandoned something or other, even in houses, they fly at me and it's developed over the years too. I mean, I used to be able to like, kind of deal with it a little better but man yeah. uh there was this this instance in uh lep castle in ireland that like you know one of the camera guys brian he got one like right in his hood and then the other one like they flew they fly at your head i think they're i think they're attracted to the ir okay and, you know mm -hmm. the ir illuminator I, th I don't think they like it and then oh, okay, you know, they, okay. th they they always fly maybe it's my energy i don't know but they <laughs> always fly real close to my head and if it, it, you know, it's game over. And then of course my <laughs> wife, my wife is a nurse. So she tells me all about the process of when you get bit by a bat and it has rabies. Oh man. So, so like it, it's, it's, it's more of like the, the end process of the bat. Like if I get scratched or bit or whatever, then I'm in the hospital with crazy stuff going on. So I don't oh, like bats. Man. I don't like bats. Yeah. It's like yeah. this Ventura movie where he runs out of the cave. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. No, no <laughs> I mean, yeah, I scream, and it's a whole different. <laughs> it's all different. Uh, so yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, we have a question so from one of my one of my investigators, actually, uh, Jennifer. 
we call her TJ because in my team we have oh, very cool. very short Jennifer and then we have yeah. tall Jennifer. Awesome. So here we here we go. Yeah. She says, "Are you now a midnight watcher?" One of her viewers. Am I a midnight watcher? Is that a gr- is that a group? Well, no. So okay, like I mentioned earlier, our yeah. viewers that we have are supporters. We, we yeah we nickname them the midnight watchers to make it uh, personal. And so are yeah. you not one of our yeah that question supporters? yeah yeah can I can I be part of the part of it yeah let's do it yeah definitely yeah all right so let me uh and so you know <clears throat> being in this field man like let's say one day you know and I ask this to all the, the people who come because you know I just, I'm just curious to know. If let's say your children, bro, came to you one day and said, you know what, man, you know, not man, but you know what, dad, I, I would love to, you know, either follow in your footsteps of being a, in the camera, you know, being a cameraman or woman uh, yeah. or just an investigator for the paranormal. I mean, how would you feel about that? What um, would you do? Man, one day my my daughter is like Scooby Doo crazy and speaks about ghosts every day now. She's like. Yeah, love Scooby Doo. My little boy loves, you know, Scooby Doo. She's like, yeah, they're they they're into it. Um, yeah, I mean, nice to do. If they wanna, if they wanna, hey man, I tell this to all my kids. Like, if you have something that's in your heart, you follow it, and 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 I will support you because that's what my parents did, and and it's like, that's all you can do. You got to be happy. You got to be like excited about what you're doing. And, you know, I, w- I just want that for, for my kids. So if that's what, if yeah. that's what they, they want to do, that's, that's what I'm going to support. So, yeah. Definitely. You man. find out that they want to be Scooby-Doo. <laughs> that's, <laughs> the thing. that's cool, man. I love Scooby-Doo. I watched that when I was a kid. So it's really neat to, to experience that with them all over again. We, we have a, uh, we, we had to uh, show you something really quickly. Uh, your okay. wife. Oh, there she is. My beautiful <laughs> she wife. Said, nope. Oh, she oh. makes my my heart flutter. Let's see, they are not allowed to go on. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, there you go. She's the not control so. the drone from far away. <laughs> All right. And so, you know, be again, you know, because you're behind the scenes with the cameras, man, but you're you're definitely there, man. Your presence is definitely felt. Oh, uh, thanks, man. You know, um what and, and I asked this to, to the crew, you know, for the, the new ghost hunters, the crew, I asked them, I said, you know, and this is one thing I want to ask you too, because you're actually there, man. You know, you're the one capturing that, you know, those amazing footages that mm-hmm. we get to see yeah. all the time. Yeah. What do you think, in your your opinion, is the biggest misconception that people think about TV investigators, people who are on, on these platforms? What is the bi- biggest misconception in in your in your uh again in your perspective, in your opinion? Yeah. Um I, I think I think when you edit down the show, you don't see how much work and how much evidence they actually have. Yeah. Uh, because there's a lot of stuff that they get and the experiences that we get that, um, you know, doesn't make that, that filter. But I mean, there's <laughs> in, in, you know, a 44, what is it? 44 minute show. Um, I mean, we're there for, for days. So, All you, you, you know, that. it's, it's, there's a lot and there's a, you know, if they could do a whole nother season on, the the back evidence or you know some we, of the, we would some love the other stuff that, you know no, so director's cut i think that's that's a you know that's a possible misconception do the, um, do the kendo edition uh yeah it, it, just you know working on this show has is I, I for so many years it's really been amazing uh ghost hunters and then um the documentary has just been the next level for me anyway because uh being able to be creative i mean that's what i do this for i want to be creative if i'm feeling like stagnant on my creativity then i gotta i gotta move on it's not the gig for me and yeah it's been you know between ghost hunters and now my documentary uh it's been just creative creative crazy and uh, and uh, you know as my wife called me this for the first time as an artist um, nice. I, I feel fulfilled, you know, so it's been great. Yeah, I think for me, I want to keep creating, cre- keep uh, being creative, uh, you know, just get getting it, you know, just yeah, being part of it. And, and I really do love like being part of the investigation. It's my favorite, favorite part yeah. of filming Ghost Hunters is once we go lights out, man, it's, it's, it, man. it's on, you know, so. And real quick, man, um, you know, going back to the documentary really quickly, you know, there, there's so many people and I've been seeing this a lot now that people are, you know, coming out all these documentaries, you know, what's 
what is, and I'm sure there's several things, but what's mm -hmm. one thing that sets this one apart from the main that people get to take, uh, get to watch? What's the, what is a big difference or, you know, that makes it stand out or shine with this specific documentary? Yeah. So I, I mean, it, it's different because, um, because we, we really, really worked hard to try to make it different. So, you know, if you're, if you're thinking it's like a TV show, that's, you know, been out, uh, you know, a ghost, a ghost hunting TV show. It's not, it's not that it's more of a true crime doc than anything. Um, yeah. with, with, you know, an involvement in a house, I think seeing, um, just the behind the, kind of behind the haunting a little bit more, you know, with the yeah. homeowner and the, the investigators and, and the personalities of these investigators. I mean, that's, that's actually one of those things that I, I wish we saw more of, uh, you know, home, go check out Brian and Rochelle's house, uh, you know, they're like, learn yeah. more about them, you know, and that, and I was able to do that with the uh, documentary um, dipping into, uh, into, um, brad and john's lives a little bit steve when steve and i started this that was our goal was to to just show what everything would be surrounding a haunting you know and and i think that's that's we accomplished that you know so yeah um that's that's, really that's gonna oh the filming style let's talk about that that um that was different um yeah so steve and i we um we had we had a ton of meetings. I mean, we were on the phone for for days before we went out to uh, out to Minis Mississippi pre production to to do the film. Yeah. And uh, one of the big things is like you know I'm I'm camera guy and let's make this let's let's do this different, right? So yeah. So uh so yeah we we wanted you know we wanted to do we wanted to follow a story but shoot it like a movie. So like. I don't know what you call it. Maybe there's probably a technical term I'm, I'm butchering, but um, we wanted to do like a documentary style movie, you know, and, yeah. and basically it achieved that we, we did, we got the red camera, cinema lenses, you know, lighting, like it, we, we really were able to, to kind of set it up. But then when we, when we, when we went and followed the real action, it was already, yeah. you know, it, it was a, actually a challenge to film with, with these cameras because of the, 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 you know, the large sensors and the, the, the critical focus and you're running and gunning and you got this rig. And I mean, yeah. it's, it, you know, so, so film, the film style is different. We didn't do IR in the dark. I would probably give that away. We want to stay away from the IR. I wanted to, um, you know, kind of keep the film camera uh, yeah, look definitely. all the way through. So it really kind of, kind of gave it a different look and Dude. i really i love it like i love the look yeah in in you know where the investigation is and it's all you know it looks like a horror film like in that in yeah. that aspect and i got really excited about that it was really neat to see <clears throat> definitely that that's that's uh all i can say is good things about this uh documentary and you know one lucky person today uh will get definitely get to have a chance to get that dvd and uh you know for those who have the opportunity when may 5th comes please uh you know this small investment gain that you know to view this film uh it's definitely worth it i mean you will not be disappointed by any means uh oh, it's, it's 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 amazing once you see it it's like when you're done and again i'm not gonna give anything away but the very end when, I, when it was over i sat there and i was like don't i was looking at the time when it was already running out and i'm like don't stop don't stop just keep going right like it, it's it's it, it was just that amazing so i appreciate oh, Oh, dude, to thank it. you. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. I can't <clears throat> wait till everybody can see it. Yeah, and, thank and you. So, um, how, how can people find you, man? You know, uh, share your social medias. You know, anywhere people can look up your content or whatever yeah. documentaries, anything you have going. How can they find it? Yeah. So, um, so okay. So the documentary, uh, you can uh, May fifth comes along. You can pretty much get it anywhere. Um, you know movies can be purchased or rented uh even in video rental stores which i didn't know exist there are some so if there's a video rental oh, nice. store by your house you can go there um you can buy nice. it you can buy it um on amazon for blu-ray which looks great the blu-ray is pretty sweet um but also uh on itunes that's that's probably the best way to do it uh, especially right now if you pre-order it um in in the pre-orders like on sale right now so you should definitely pre-order now um before may 5th it's 4.99 and then it jumps up to 12.99 and uh yeah we're just we want to 
kind of get give a good sale before before our pre, our release so uh and then it's 4k you can you can get 4k you can watch it in 4k okay. not a lot of people are shooting 4k uh nice yeah um, uh you know investigation ghost uh you know yeah so, definitely um so yeah it's 4k and uh yeah man it's it's available uh on all major platforms uh go to the house in between.com um and sign up uh we send a newsletter out we try not to bug you too much but send a newsletter out when we have major advancements and then uh for me you can follow me at my facebook or instagram uh go to instagram i post like my my uh my photography there more often and then facebook just kind of my personal life so um and yeah that's uh that's that's it there in a nutshell. and if you haven't already go just watch the trailer for this film. Oh, thanks, man. Just the trailer alone, man. It's like you're hooked. You know, you're gonna be like, man, come on, May 5th, let's go. We it, have a link for it later. Yeah, it's it's definitely amazing. But uh I wanna thank you, man, so much for coming on the show, man. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's it's such a, a pleasure, man, and, and an honor to have you on. And you know, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I Fun think to talk said, tech. this is this is one of your this is one of your first interviews, right? On on the show yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah, like talking about you know director of photography, camera I love stuff, tech talk. all that stuff. Yeah, tech talk. So yeah. Oh so, man, that's, thanks, that's, that's cool, man. Have. Thanks for doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and real quick for all our, our midnight watchers, for those who are watching, again, you know, just you know, you can say a little prayer for you know Kendo and the family. Thanks. Thank you. You know, you Thank know what we went through this this time, man, and and just send your love, light, and and prayers to them, and and that mm -hmm. that'll definitely go a long way. Uh, but here at MPS, we're definitely uh supporting you, man. You know, we have your back and. Anything you need from us, man, definitely reach out and, you know, prayers for you guys. I appreciate it, man, very, very much. And uh, thanks. This was fun. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I look forward to the next, man. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We appreciate you all. Uh, love and light uh, to everybody, all our minute watchers. We'll see you on the next show. And and, for, and actually, before we go, uh, one of our upcoming shows will be featuring the amazing individuals from the documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have Alice. We're going to have John and Brad. So you don't want to miss that one. So once you watch... Make sure to watch the documentary first, and then I believe we're going to have them on the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. I got to look at the, at the calendar. Uh, but when they come on, make sure to watch the documentary first. That way, when you see them yeah. on, on the show, you can relate and you can you know connect and know what kind of questions you want to ask them. So That's going to be a good one because the, the doc will be out, and you guys, you guys will have questions. Yeah, those, and they have tons more stories. I mean, stuff is still happening at the house. So Definitely. Definitely. Well, definitely. I will leave you to it, brother. You have cool. a blessed evening, and we'll definitely Thank you. be in touch, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank All you. Right. All right. Good night, Bye, everyone. everyone. Thank you for Bye. watching. Bye-bye. Hey, Midnight Watchers. You now reached the end of the show. If you want to look at more content on Midnight Pound Society, look us up on Instagram at midnight.paranormal.society. You can also look us up on Twitter at MPS underscore SATX. You can also find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash paranormal MPS. You can also find us on YouTube. Just type in Midnight Paranormal Society. Thank you for the love and support, and thank you so much for watching. See you on the next show. Bye-bye.